So here's my demo clip for the Mad Bean October contest. My entry being the Ludicrous Screamer 5090A size little bugger. So um, I'm on my clean channel Imeza Mark IV using my Schecter Tempest with uh, Sir Doug Aldrich pickups in it on the bridge. Here's a clean signal. I'm tuned in drop B, so it's kind of low. Um, so we'll just go through the controls and then I'll keep it fixed and play some crap stuff. That's the clipping uh, silicone, uh, the yeah, asymmetrical position. And then got a lift, a lot more output. Then the symmetrical LEDs. That's the one I use mostly. So, and then got the top switch, which is, I don't know if it's on or off right now, but when it's up, it sounds better. Like that, there's a lot of top. Too much. And like that's pretty nice and there's the fat switch I hope you can hear the differences between the two sounds I'll keep it at off just so it doesn't muddy up a, fr a bit my sound with the setting I'm using right now so in the Stuff I'll play with it. I also use um, a rotten comp. We don't see it in the in the screen, but not not much compression, but a lot of output because of the the bloom control. So it's like a pre boost stage, if I can say. And then we have uh, Mad Beans uh, Kraken, the Mutron Mutron Micro V. Uh, envelope filter which is like close to my favorite envelope filter yet I like it better than the Nautilus or a Mutron 3 just simpler to use and the behave better with any guitars uh, less uh, finicky to play with so anyway and we'll use some delay Maxon 8999, anyway, something like that. Screamer or other overdrive in front of eye gain stuff to clean up 
the pockets on the mids bring the string up front so that's how I use it so that's without any drive. 